video I'm going to demonstrate some of the basics of working with shadow box. I'm going to start by bringing the dog tool on the uh, canvas. You can use any tool that you like, but the dog is going to make a few aspects of working with shadow box a bit more obvious. Just switching to a nice white material, so everything's nice and easy to see. I'm going to expand the subtool palette and click on the shadow box button. And what this does is this replaces the dog tool with the shadow box tool. And uh, it creates a mask from the initial dog shape, which is projected on each side of the shadow box tool. Now the mesh that you see in the center is created at the intersection of the three masks. Now I can clear these masks out of Shadowbox just by holding the control key and dragging on the canvas and that essentially clears out Shadowbox and gives me a nice uh, clean Shadowbox to start working with. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use Shadowbox to create a very simple couch. And to make things more obvious I'm going to bring in a custom texture that has labels for each of the sides of Shadowbox. I'm going to apply this to Shadowbox so it's a little bit easier to see what's going on. Now I'll hold the control key to bring up the masking pen and I'm going to choose the rect style stroke type for the masking pen and draw out a mask rectangle on the back of Shadowbox. And as you can see by drawing the mask on the back of Shadowbox it's actually created a mesh in the center of shadow box. Now I'll draw another rectangle on the right side. And now I'm going to hold the control and alt key and cut away part of the mask. And this leads me to sort of an L shape. And I can continue to trim my mask shape down using that. And now to create legs, I'm just going to extend the bottom of the mesh by drawing another mask. Now you notice that nothing happened. This is because the mesh at the center of shadow box is the intersection of the two masks. So I have to extend the mask on the back down to make the legs. Now as you can see, I have these leg shapes coming down. And uh, I could just hold Control and Alt again to just cut away the middle part of the mask on the right side. And I will end up with the four legs for my couch. And there you have it. Now what I'd like to do is create some armrests and from the right view I'm just going to draw another rectangular mask on the side. You can see that it goes all the way through and I'm going to hold Control and Alt and cut away the central part of the couch. And this is where I'm going to put the back cushion. So this is what I end up with. Now to make the back cushion what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to duplicate my shadow box tool. So I have a second shadow box tool. Now these are both still named dog, so I'm going to rename the top one couch, and I'll rename the second shadow box cushion. So that'll help me keep track of what's going on. And now I can select the, the couch uh, shadow box tool and turn off the shadow box button, and now you see the mesh that I'm left with. So this is the back basic part of my couch. Now if I turn on my cushion shadow box tool, clear that one out and I can still see my original couch tool in transparent mode uh, in the center of shadow box. And now to make a cushion I'll just draw out a simple rectangle on the, on the right view and then on the back view I'll draw another rectangle which will constrain the size to uh, what I need for my cushion. And there I have my couch with a back cushion and armrests and I'll turn off shadow box and transparency and now you can see the completed couch. And that's the basics of working shadow box. Obviously you can come up with your own uh, shapes that are much, much more complex than the couch. But this is just a simple demonstation to give an idea of how shadow box works.